What's going on? This is Yancey, author and producer of the This Is Why series. Make sure you go now and subscribe to my website, www.newfacemanagement.org. This is why you go to college. This is why you go to college. Hey, yo, this is why you go to college. New Face Entertainment. Always paid my bills. This is why you go to college. New Face Entertainment. New Face. New Face. <laughs> this is why you go to college. This is why you go to college. This is why you go to college. Sir, had the had the make Bruce Brown, aka Big Body Bruce Brown, B4. You know who it is. Yeah. With my dog, one of the originators. You know what I'm saying? We got it. History right here. So it's many my stories. Dudes. You know what I'm it's not enough time. It ain't though. To like go we need, over. we need a uh, we need some days right. to tell the stuff that we got. Like we just gonna uh, try to keep it <laughs> to what needs to be said. So you know what I'm saying? your boy, you know, originally from Richmond, VA, and right. now live in Florida. Mm -hmm. um, class of 06 and you know, what it came out 05 with well, onyx that's the original class but yeah. it came out 06 but i'm still right. onyx at heart you know yeah, and what you saying? graduate with yeah, maybe. uh psychology cool psychology you know, something light something light you know what i'm saying all right but, so uh, everybody knew what my passion was those who watched me know i played ball you know know that we did the did our thing you know me at champs you know stuff like that well, I me at champions, you my know dude. Right? So, that, so let's talk about a couple things real quick. Sure. So me at champions. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about that and we'll backtrack. Bet. So that was your senior year. Yes. I mean, that was your your fifth year. Yeah, that was my day. That, you know that was my fourth year on the court, fifth year in the yeah. class. Yeah. And and just bringing it together between new face and your 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 your, your senior year, we followed you to the MEAC. That is true. So I'm saying that so is that, true, and I got I got the flyer to prove it. Right. We followed you to the MEAC. We supported everything you did. You know what I'm saying? Because you were my boy from the beginning, from the freshman year. And you know what though? And that's the that's the one thing that I I will say. Go th shout out to Coach Bobby Collins. You know that was my coach. Yeah. Did one of the greatest things ever by hooking us, putting us two together to mm -hmm. go work out the year I set out. Yeah. That's what started the whole thing, and then it just took off from there. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we all we in North Carolina. Like you were. We seen you, we watched you play, but you was with your team. You know, so you was with the team, and we was promoting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We had we we promoted the MIAC for him. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think I was a judge for a step show that year too. Yep, you were. Um, which was cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got an opportunity to do a lot of stuff. You know, as college students. And but, um, you know what? Doing well, I will say this: though, one of the best parts was after winning it. Was kicking it with y'all yep. afterwards. That was we was right on the court. Right on right the court. There. Yeah, that was one of the best parts. Bro. Yeah, that was crazy. We ran right on the court. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Support my boy. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Um, that was a great time. MEAC Championship 2006. And then obviously, we came into Hampton University when the MEAC uh, Hampton won the MEAC two years in a row. Two years in a row, yeah. You know what I did. So that, that, that was good. Um, so it kind of came back full circle for you, you know, um, and for, for us as Antonians. That's true. And now, now they're in the Big South, which is a big step up for my school. You know, they're big up to HU. Love it. All right. You know what I'm saying? We're in the Big South now, so we're doing big things. All right, so let's talk about what made you decide to go to Hampton. You know, obviously, you played basketball for Hampton. What made you decide to go to Hampton? Um, to be honest, I was I was one of the uh, first, first generation to actually go to college out of my dad's family. Um, so, and um, to be honest, I was supposed to go to a school up in Pittsburgh, uh, Duquesne. They had a horrible season. The big man got deported, the coaching staff got fired, so oh. new coach, new coach, new players, so they, they stopped sending me recruitment letters. Um, I was a little worried. Um, I tried to go to, I you know, looked up at AENT and looked at a couple of schools in the MEAC, but uh, when I came to Hampton and I seen the atmosphere and, uh, you know, looked at how the team was, you know, they, you know, they were like a band of brothers and a bond. That you know, what I'm saying something that was like really that seemed really natural and true. You know, I, you know that was that was a natural choice for me. Mm -hmm. All right, so you end up in Hampton. We meet. Um, so you you you're a part of my my core group. You know, my core group from the very beginning. The the the, the, you know the original poster boys. You know? Yeah, straight face entertainment. <laughs> straight face entertainment, wearing all the flyers, mm -hmm. rocking all the flyers, passing all the flyers out. Yeah. I, to be honest, that, that I think that's what created me to become a social butterfly. Cause I yeah. I really wasn't that social when I first got there till after I met you. All right, so now it's so, so what was it like? You know, you got basketball, you were red shirts, and you um, but you know we working out together. Um, but what was it like when, when we got the first Mardi Gras? 
first oh, one, man. second semester, that, that first uh, one. That first party, it was a it was a bunch of nerves because you know we had, we only did house parties at first. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we threw the we threw the house parties, we made the money for the house parties and then uh, you know we we all y'all I remember that night y'all was sitting in the y'all was sitting in the apartment y'all sitting in the apartment and we were sitting there, y'all was throwing out ideas and we was like trying to think of what our first big party was gonna be. And uh, I don't know who the idea was just for the Mardi Gras. But uh, as soon as the idea came out, everybody everybody's bulb lit up and it was like, yeah. And then we was thinking, is it gonna be but then we had the we had the concept, are we going for girls going wild type Mardi Gras? Or are we going for like, you know, like just party party Mardi Gras? And then we like we didn't necessarily know. So of course, you know, we we, we of course we took to the to the folks at the school, people who were from Louisiana that been part of that, got a couple of ideas thrown us our way. And you know, it all turned out it all turned out crazy. For those who know you how you won that that contest, I'm not gonna say your names, but you know how you won that contest. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. You know how you won. I know I gave out tons of beads that night. Oh. And uh, you know, Mardi Gras ended up being our annual event. Yep. So that was like our signature event. That was our almost, signature, yep. Almost eight years strong. Yep. Um, let's also talk about uh, new Straight Face at the time and what Straight Face was like for you. You know what I'm saying? We were Straight Face um, and for, for me... But we, because we were still doing dinners. That's true. Still had the meetings, but what was it like? You it, know, for, from from what I see from before, because when we first when we first started it, it was just a, it was just a few of us. You know, shout out to my man Sean, Status Q, and Howard. You know, what I'm saying Polico. You know, uh, it was just it was just us at first, and then of course you know we we had, we had your cousins that was there, mm -hmm. and how was how was cousins there? You know, what I'm saying, and uh, they was you know what I'm saying, <laughs> as, as a, the, the third floor. The third floor. <laughs> Shout out, man, Yo, shout out to my man, bro. Yo, shout out to my boy Lee bro. The third floor. <laughs> I never forget that. And mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that, you know, that was something that was. Uh, of course, we had a, we had a, we had a few doubts at first. We didn't think, you know, we didn't think it was gonna be as big as it was because, you know, we had done house parties, and of course, you know, house parties only go so far. Mm -hmm. But this was something that, um, you know, everybody was putting money into, and um, so of course, nerves were there. But. Um, I think after after we got it out there and we uh you know what I'm saying we, we put it out there and we was like look this is how this is we're gonna make it rock we're gonna make it do what it do let's uh <laughs> let's, let's 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 get it and I remember that first I remember that first that when we first got there and we saw that we saw the venue we walk in we looking around we're like okay this could pop then the doors open and the, and the people just once the people started flooding in it was like okay. Okay, now it's, it's going, it's going, it's going pretty good. Then around like 11:30, that's when the floodgates opened up. We was like, oh yeah, we didn't, we we didn't did this. This is legit. We didn't did this. We good to go. And that was like that first night. And then we all, that was the one time that we actually had a chance to like sit back and really, we actually sat back, you know, as you know, as all together, we sat back and we watched it as it as it, as it, as it unfolded. And then after it was over. We actually got a chance to sit down and reflect because I, I remember right. after it was over, we all went to IHOP. <laughs> went to IHOP and was like, "Yo, I can't believe this jump jumped off like that." So, mm -hmm. and then uh, after that, we had a couple of I was like a, a couple of a couple of like a week or so later, somebody had came up to uh, came up to me and had asked us, you know, "When we doing something else again?" And I was like, "You know, that's a good question. We should go work that out." Mm -hmm. And then uh, after that, we was we was rolling after that, rolling every, everything after that. All right, then um, the next year we do our first Legion. Yeah. The Rep Your Coast. AKA the old, the old Mer uh, the, the, the Legion, not Mercury Entertainment. Yeah, it was called the, the Legion, Legion back, back then. then. Right. So those who know, it was the Legion back then. It's the Legion. And don't nobody know nothing about the Legion. That was yeah. the original bingo hall. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that was that was an experience as well. Um, Cause like I said, you know, that's it's what it's doing these promotions with you guys. That actually opened up a lot of stuff to for me to become more sociable. Not just saying that I was shy, but you know, you, you not necessarily far from home. You know, what I'm saying you know, you only know a certain amount of people. Like I only knew my teammates. I only knew, you know, you and the fellas. I really didn't know too many people on campus. But it got me, it gave me an opportunity to, uh, you know, become a social butterfly, open myself up, and you know, become more sociable with folks. And I gained a lot of friends out of that. All right, let's talk about the 12 to 2 and how how that. 
That was another one. Uh, I think because I, I, I think after Isabel, that two of the two thing we started doing that more often because you know we didn't like I said we played. We didn't like certain like no no shot no no shots to any DJs that came and did our schools, but a lot of people played the same thing every time, and everybody those people don't want to hear all that. So what we did was we had we had guys from different areas. We had, like I said we had my man Status Quo from New York, so of course we got up north taken care of and, and all that. And Phil was then we got Phil from the West Coast, and so he playing all the West Coast stuff. Then we had uh, we had at the time Ryan Ryan was playing all anything, anything Midwest and this that and third. Then who we had from the who we had from the south? Reggie Red. Reggie Red. Was, yeah, Reggie Red was with us, and he's from Virginia. Some, he's from Virginia, so he did all the all the down south stuff like that. And it was like you know, it was like you know, we got we got DJs from all over, and they playing, they giving you, and they giving you, they giving you all the midway, they giving you all of this, they giving you the West Coast, they giving, they ain't giving you like the plain Jane stuff that you here you know the snoop dog no 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 they're giving you brand new stuff stuff that you oh i heard this genuine west genuine coast west coast music. music not the you know what i'm saying not the the, uh, the old nwa stuff no of course we we gonna we gonna give you that but we're gonna give you the new stuff the new stuff that you hear that you that you listening to like y'all was just listening to that song yeah that's that song's on bt yeah we giving you what you you know what i'm saying what, what it is that you're hearing now we're not giving you the the, the old, the, you know what I'm saying, old music and stuff like that that you oh you already know. Okay, I know this, but did you hear it enough times? I'm, I'm tired of this song. No, we bring you new hot fire every single time. Every single time you see this DJ, this, the DJ got something new. It's never the same thing. And I think that's the one thing that made, that took us above everybody else. All right. Ooh, so now, um, you know, you want to talk about, you know, current high school students now, current, current college students. You know, dealing with any issues like depression and things of that nature. You know, somebody may come to you talking about their depression. You know, they need they need some advice. They need someone to look up to or talk to. Um, how how would you deal with depression if a young a young person wanted to come to you and talk to you for advice? Well, being that I was an actual psych major, I was you know pretty much taught that what to deal with do with that. But the thing was, um, I feel as if you, you do need that, that person to talk to. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know what um, what anyone's going through. At times in college, I, I myself you know so fell under depression, but being that I, you know, studied it, you know, like I knew what to do. I, I didn't sit here and stew in it. I, I call you. I'd be like, yo, bro, I need to talk to you for a second. Can mm -hmm. we rap? And you'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, we meet up and we talk about something. And, you know, you give me your, you give me your advice or you give me what to do. Be like, all right, Big Bruce, you know what I'm saying, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's let's try that. Let's see if that works. And, um, and I think with now, because now in college students, like right now, it's like it's not necessarily, you're not, you stick, you're trying to stick out a helping hand. And sometimes another hand's not there, and you know you got and some people suffer in silence. But you know when we were when we were in school, we, we didn't do that. You know we tell we tell our anybody in our crew, hey, look, bro, if you got a problem, don't be afraid to hit my phone. Right. Relationship, someone with school, like was like talk anything, like you you can come to us, and they and they did, and I think that's the that's what they they need stuff like that. Now there's not a lot of. It's not a lot that in, in, in too many schools, you know. They think you know, you go to a counselor, this, that, and third. But the counselor's just gonna um, not to, not to be any offense to count, but they're gonna tell you their medical thing or what they want you to do. They're not gonna sit down and actually genuinely listen like a good friend of yours. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? And then they're, they're, their opinion is gonna be based on a, a, a medical type. Your, your best friends, like you know, what I'm saying I listen to you because your opinion's unbiased. Mm -hmm. You know me. If I'm going through a situation, it's like, yo, man such and such is happening and I don't know what to do your opinion is going to be unbiased and it's going to be honest because I know like you know what I'm saying we kept it real with each other bro we ain't, ain't no ain't no point of line or nothing like that and that's that's the one thing that um people need that you need that person that that I tell everybody you need that real core person in your life that you can go to and you know that nothing is that you know what I'm saying they're not going to throw no shade they're not going to judge you everything that they're coming to you is going to be you know it's going to be unbiased and it's going to be honest because that's your friend all right, so um, next thing we'll talk about a uh, high school student that uh, is thinking about going to college. You know, like, but this is a high school student that might be in your shoes, a high school student that's a basketball player that's trying to make a decision on where to go. Um, when, when trying to make a decision to go to college, what, what would you tell them to look for when it comes to going to college? Uh, when you try, all right, for making a decision when you're about to go to college, man, this is the big thing. If you're, if you're especially if you're an athlete, if because you're gonna you're gonna deal with a lot of stuff when you're there so here's the thing if you feel as if the team that's there that you can bond with them 
You know what I'm saying? That's something different. Because I, like I said, the guys that I play with, I still talk to them to this day. Right. And the times that we come to homecoming, we, we bring our children, you know, our kids know each other. So it's like, that's a band of brothers. And that's like, you know, nobody ever out tried to outshine anybody. Yeah, we may have had arguments, but we always talked it out. And, and worked it out in the end, cause at the end of the day, we got you know what I'm saying. When you get on that floor, you got you got to be with that person. You know what I'm saying? That's your teammate. If the if, if you feel as if you like the area, that's another thing. You know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of people, a lot of kids go to school and they don't necessarily like the school, but you went there cause it's a free ride. I understand that, especially for those like myself. My parents ain't have you know all that money for me to go to school, so uh, a free uh, free ride was awesome to me. And when I got that, I was like, oh, that's great. It's amazing. I I'll, I'll definitely do that. But um, and then also look at you know what I'm saying look at you also gotta look at what you're trying to study. Like I understand when you first get in there, it's not gonna be, you know, right. You're not gonna know right away. Mm -hmm. But if you have an idea, you know what I'm saying, look at the curriculum, man. Look at the stuff that you want to look into, and um, definitely um, you know what I'm saying, look into that. Cause at with Hampton, we have tons of curriculums, yeah. and we 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 hand them those out like pamphlets, boy. We. You want or you want to go into what and they hand it out and then you can actually you know especially for those who come on the pre on a pre college and get a and you know what I'm saying that's another thing if you want to try it out come try it out try to if they have a pre college program or anything like that give it a try because that's gonna be that's basically taking steps into what the school is gonna be like when you get there and that's the one thing about Hampton like this thing that the thing that you deal with in pre college is going is carrying right over when you go to school because it's the same it's gonna be the same thing. Cool. All right, so. Anything else you want to let the people know? Oh uh, yeah, man. You know what, man? Just this is a, this is a, another thing, man. As a, I, I never got a chance to tell you this, bro. Like, I want thank you, bro. Cause like I said, if it, if it, thank you. Cause if it wasn't for you, to be honest, bro, I probably wouldn't have been the social person that I was. You know what I mean? I'd have still been in that shell, not necessarily knowing anybody. And I never got a chance to thank you for that. You know what I mean? You boy, you broke me out of my shell. And you made me a social person now. I like I'm on a I'm on a run, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> everybody everybody loved me, dog. Everybody be like, man, he cool, he this, that, and the third, and that would have never happened had I not had I not met you, you know what I'm saying? So I want to thank you for that, man. And thank you also for like you because you didn't have to bring me into what that was. Like I said, you already knew Sean, you knew Howard, because you had met them pre before. You didn't have to bring me into that, but you did. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying, thank you for that as well. Now the next thing you gotta do is you gotta help me get across that uh you gotta help me get across that.